Now bear with me here just a moment. I'm trying to collect myself and organize my thoughts. Just thinking about this is just all types of weird. Let me get this straight. Now, I haven't been watching Raw and SmackDown all that much for, honestly, quite a while now. So I, I catch different bits and clips and pieces and such and such and such. But watching the entire show, forget about it. No way, no way in hell. Uh, but apparently this James Ellsworth is a thing. James Ellsworth is a very big thing. A lot of people apparently are really down for the no chin crown. I don't know what the fuck to make out of all of this. So let me get this straight. An enhancement talent, a jobber guy, is now getting over to levels that only Barry Horowitz could have possibly dreamed of in the 90s. I, I, I gotta see if I can even do the no chin thing. I don't know what the... <laughs> You know, what the fuck? Why not? People want to cheer for James Ellsworth. I guess they're entitled to. But I saw something today as I was perusing the interwebs. And, and I had to stop in my tracks and reread it, read it again. And it took me several minutes to stop laughing my ass off. <laughs> Apparently earlier this week. James Ellsworth, no chin have an ass, had the number one, not the number three, not the number two, the number one selling new t-shirt on WWE.com. And currently, in terms of best-selling shirts out of the entire umbrella of the merchandise organization and machine that is WWE, James Ellsworth sits in sixth place, ahead of people such as Randy Horton, Roman Reigns, and the recently returned Bill Goldberg. <laughs> James Ellsworth is moving merch at a top star level. <laughs> You know what, first, for, for, for James Ellsworth, a fucking more power to you, dude. Make all the money you can, whatever momentum you've gotten. People want to continue to buy your bullshit. Then fucking have at it. I hope you're getting some nice merchant royalty checks out of this shit. I mean, think about this. This dude is getting main event spots, wrestling against AJ Styles, title matches, all this other bullshit. It's like the WWE has almost stumbled into a thing where this guy is now one of the most over members of the fucking roster. <laughs> and it is really almost awesome in a way. I don't know how exactly it's awesome, but it's really awesome in a way that this fucking dude, of all people, of all the shit they do with NXT, of all the shit they do with trying to pound certain people down your damn throat, all the people that come into the organization with years of independent wrestling experience and years of an independent fan following behind them, it is James Ellsworth, who is one of the most must-see attractions, apparently, in all of the WWE, and one of their biggest merchandise movers. To the moon with him! To the 2017 Royal Rumble he goes! To the main event of WrestleMania 32! Oh, what the fuck not? What does that say about the rest of the roster? That James Ellsworth is in the top ten in terms of t-shirt sales in the company. He's outselling John Cena's youth t-shirt! Some more adult fans are hard up for James Ellsworth merchandise than little kids are for John Cena's. <laughs> and he's selling more shit than Roman Reigns and Randy Orton and fucking Goldberg. You would think Goldberg comes back, you would at least see a one or two week spike where you'd see a new run on a shit ton of his merchandise and he would have maybe the top selling shirt, I don't know, for a fucking week or two. But James Ellsworth is he's a bigger job than WWE We've gotten that bad in this fucking product. We've gotten bat that bad in this fucking company. And the fans have gotten this out of fucking whack with reality. The shit has got that bad. We're this no chin having jobber. And that's what he is. Yeah, on a big show, he's a fucking jobber. He is one of the best merch movers you have.
I bet Barry Horowitz feels ripped off. He's going to sit there and eventually do a shoot interview talking about how it was 20 years too soon for his ass. He'd be the fucking world champion the way this shit is. But what a sad state of affairs that is for the company. When you look at a guy who clearly is being put in a certain position in a certain spot to advance a certain story that this company really doesn't care about, all of a sudden you find out that a lot of the hardcore fans and all of their infinite wisdom care more about this guy than they do guys like AJ Styles and Gene Ambrose. Let me look here really quickly. Here's the t-shirt rankings for this, for this company. Number one, Seth Rollins' new shirt. Number two, Kevin Owens. Number three, AJ Styles. Number four, Enzo and Cass. Uh, number... John Cena's five. Oh, excuse me. I I misread. I misspoke. Ellsworth would be seventh behind Cena if you included the youth shit. But you know what? No, fuck him. He doesn't have a chin. He moves up to number six. <laughs> Currently, I'm selling t-shirts for Golden Grady. <laughs> it's almost like you guys are so fucking bored with this product. And so fed up with wrestling in general. And so fucking tired of this company and it's bullshit. And it's lame-ass performers. <laughs> that you want to take him, give him the ultimate F you. And to be fair, why not? You like the short guys that can do a bunch of spots that have no personality, charisma, or mic skills to speak of. James Ellsworth is the perfect fucking dude for you. The only way it gets any better for the hardcore fans today, and this is what I don't understand, would have been Hornswoggle. He was the shortest vanilla midget of them fucking all. He was a fucking midget. He did his tadpole splash. He bumped like fucking crazy. He couldn't talk. Hell, that was the gimmick for a long time as he couldn't speak. You would have thought the hardcore audience would have been behind him more than anybody in fucking history. But I guess since they feel like they gotta they gotta make up for how that horn struggle was treated, now we come back. And it's James fucking Ellis working. I don't even know how to how to react to this. Is it, on the one hand, is really, really funny, and on the other hand, is very sad and pathetic, and it's an indictment, I think, of the company, the business, frankly, the fan base, too, the most certainly the performers, the writing, everything. A fucking job guy is in your top ten in merch sales. You know, on the one hand, where the company will sit there and, you know, reap the rewards of that and be pleased to have it, sure, it also hopefully will serve as a fucking wake-up call that there's a major problem here. And frankly, from the fan base's standpoint, too, when you look at all the people that James Ellsworth is selling more t-shirts than, hopefully it's a wake-up call for a lot of you, too. I mean, for Christ's sakes, we couldn't even give Goldberg a week at the top of t-shirt sales? I can't if you don't want to buy Orton's or fucking grades of shit, whatever. <laughs> James Ellsworth is selling more than fucking Goldberg. Then why doesn't James Ellsworth fucking take on the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar? And why doesn't James Ellsworth take Brock Lesnar to fucking Chin City? I don't know. This just shows you how fucked up the WWE product is today. How fucking bad the performers are, how fucking terrible the writing is, and how fucked up in priorities the fans are. James Ellsworth, Chin City, baby!